So this is just a developer preview. This is not the final product. Right. This is not going to be on the market in this case. So you have your phone, you unlock it, you got your normal start screen, you got your apps, you can do your messaging, okay, you can send say, phone calls, like two, you've got, like uh, <laughs> you can give us feedback, so it's got a feedback built in for developers right now, so in case you get stuck, we can, it, that goes directly to Mozilla. So if you have a problem, we know what's going on. Uh, your apps are just HTML5 apps, so this one is a simple HTML5 page that runs on my Android as well, that I just resized for that one. You got camera access, you can, uh -huh. uh, well, obviously you uh -huh. have to click the right thing, thing as well. Yeah, so the camera access, so you can take pictures and they go into the gallery and you can upload and share them on Twitter later on. So that one works. And nothing you've seen here so far, nothing is not HTML5. This is HTML, this is as in JavaScript. The operating system, the desktop is written in HTML. The only thing in there is a Linux core, the same as Gong core that is on the, uh, on the Android. And then we put the Firefox rendering engine on top of that and we wrote and specified lots of hardware um, uh, hardware, uh, hardware specifications that allow us to access the hardware through JavaScript APIs. So a lot of them are sandboxed, so you cannot just send random text messages, but you have to be verified for that. But uh, in other than that, it's just a phone that runs on HTML5. We have WebGL support, so this is what's running here, like uh, about 35, 37 frames, but we're working on making it faster at the moment. Multi-touch support, so pinch and zoom, all of that works, which was a pain to get working. And uh, uh, Canvas 2D transformations, all the things. A cost control, because we're going for markets that actually want to know how much of their 3G and Wi-Fi they've been using and how much they had to pay for it which is not that important here, but in, in, in South America it definitely is. And that's basically it. And the cool thing is, this is an HTML phone, we're working on something to make apps searchable on the web. So instead of having to go through an app market, you can just put a manifest on your app and it can be found on the web and installed from there.